Well, hello there to my Capricorns. Capricorns, we are in a whole new cycle. That means new you. That's right. New you, Capricorns, new you. So hopefully you all are getting your rest in this new moon phase. So drop your comments below. How'd you like the solar eclipse? The total solar eclipse, right? Yeah, drop your comments below. This is a general reading, so take only what resonates with you. If you're interested in a personal reading, my information is down below. The last full moon that we had was on um, March 25th, Capricorns, and we had a, a partial lunar eclipse in Libra. So you committed to yourselves. You're no longer doing an injustice to yourselves by carrying other people's emotional baggage, right? Emotional baggage, right? You have enough to deal with with sifting through your own emotions, you're not carrying other people's toxicity, their rigidity, their whatever it is. You're not carrying their toxins. And sometimes that looks like as an earth sign because when we talk about water, your emotions, your joy, your creativity, sensuality, sexuality, healthy range of emotions, the things that you're passionate about, fertile, the things that you're fertile in the seeds that you're trying to plant, you got to make sure your physical body is away from certain toxic environment is an earth sign right because you'll start to grow those very things if people are watering your soil your earth with their toxins and those things will grow those things will grow if people are if people are have really uh, bad tempers and they plant those seeds in you as an earth sign just keep always think about that like where you plant your physical body is your earth it makes a difference right so let's get into it here we have I've already prayed over your cards. I'm talking to you wherever Capricorn is in your birth chart, not just your sun sign. Um, also, if you're on the cusp of um, Aquarius or on the cusp of Sagittarius, I am talking to you as well. So please pull your birth chart, even my cross watchers, and find out what Capricorn is in your birth chart. Capricorn is a pretty cool sign, you know, a very hardworking sign, very structured sign. You know, you're, they're ruled by um, Saturn, which is um, the planet of maturity and authority. They're very Y sign. So, you know, get your Capricorn on. <laughs> so if you go cross watching, you got Capricorn in your birth chart. Yay. Right. So let's do it. First card out of the deck is the 10 of cups. So somebody's prayers have been answered, you know, and here, here comes somebody looking at you with their ears flapping. Yeah. Ears flapping. They want you back in a situation and, and here you are at peace and harmony with yourself, attracting peace and harmony. And they sitting somewhere with their tail wagging growling very long canine teeth in a wilderness situation hopefully hoping that you would come back into a wilderness situation trying to create some kind of confusion and chaos so so it's just saying hey let people watch you're inspiring and motivating people to create peaceful environment for themselves right so yeah so here we have the lover's card right so this is nice i'm gonna get some more information on your love interest so for those of you all um when we talk about a partnership in business and or in love which i see you sitting on a rainbow with somebody right so some of you all are already married to your twin flame okay so this is not going out there getting a new twin flame you're with your person right <clears throat> but also this symbolizes a partnership in business so if you're leaving a job where sources are saying people have been challenging your leadership skills, these are some of the same. Um, they are, like I said, they add to your joy, whether it's in a love relationship or a, per a personal or a professional. So take it, you know, take what resonates with you. They add to your joy. There's not a toxic environment, whether it's with you and their family, them and their, you know, their group of people that they're connected to is not a bunch of toxicity there because you've already been in a wilderness situation before. So you'll be able to recognize right away what works for you and what doesn't. Um, they are fully supportive of your support team. So even if it's at work, it's a healthy work-life balance. And this is what you prayed for, right? After being prayed on that makes any sense. This is in your personal and professional life. So sometimes you don't know what to pray for until you've come out of predatory energy, like wilderness situations, whether you move from one city to a, you know, another city and you had to get back, get your footing back. Sometimes you don't know your group of people until you're in a wilderness situation, right? So that's what I'm saying for you all. So congratulations, people are pouring into, they're adding to your creativity, they're adding to your, so this could mean you and somebody, if you desire a love interest and you all are creating 
babies together. It could be two kids. It can be two grandkids. It can be, you know, those kind of things where you feel like it's a safe space to create, you know, the life that you know that you deserve, right? Remember, this is the year of wealth, right? So you want to become wealthier in something. And it looks like somebody wants to become wealthier in peace, wealthier in creativity, wealthier in ideas. And you're at the top of your game of your ideas. So somebody knows that you can pray for things, also meditate, pray and meditate, and you can attract the life that you want. But you have to meet that thing on that frequency. So it can't be any doubt. So what I mean by that, for example is let's say, for instance, you've come out of some bad friendships, romantic relationships, bad jobs, right? Where it just wasn't a good fit for you, Capricorn. The You meet that thing at the frequency when you have no doubt whatsoever. It's like, okay, I prayed about it. I know that Source wants the best for me. So I'm going to go ahead and thank Source in advance. So now I just have to wait. That means I'm not answering any phone calls from any people who are still in wilderness situations, whether it's ex-love interest, I'm completely closing that cycle out. Remember, we're in a whole new cycle. You left some things behind. You'll know that you landed on the light side of this moon coming up in Taurus if you feel warm, affectionate, artistic, determined, trustworthy, more trustworthy. In contrast, you'll know who landed on the dark side being more obstinate, possessive, rigid, overcautious, a slave to routine, right? Like a person who was just committed to staying in a wilderness situation and trying to bait you back into a wilderness situation. So be careful about what you put on social media, please, because people are out there lurking, they're watching and waiting to see what you put on social media. And you'd be surprised at how excited some people get about you know, oh, I got a new love in my life and so on and so forth. And I'm feeling good about this situation, that kind of thing. And you post you on your personal line and people will go straight to, let's see if we know this person, anybody know who know this person and go right into wrecking your relationship. So sources saying, learn from the past. Some people are still in wilderness situations and misery loves company. So you got a lot of good news coming your way and keep it off of social media. Everything is not for social media consumption you're not trying to make any exes jealous you're not trying to make any ex friends ex love interest ex job none of that jealous protect your peace protect your peace your inner child right so i see somebody getting married congratulations married in business and or in love and the characteristics are the same it's a safe space for you to be it's a safe space for you to create the life that you want congratulations 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 no sudden moves, <laughs> no sudden moves, right? You get some money, no sudden moves, right? You know what I'm saying? So yeah, here we had the strength card. So definitely there's some energies that could have been a, um, you know, like I said, sources saying to you, energies, you got to know the difference between a, um, the, know the difference between a karmic relationship and a twin relationship. That karmic relationship is, um, it's a lot of things to a karmic relationship. They want you to, they want the sun, moon, and earth to revolve around them. They want you to be around them all the time. They don't want you operating in your purpose unless they know every, they got their foot, their finger on you every five seconds. What you doing? Where you at? What you going? Where you going? You don't even have time to process your thoughts versus a person who knows how to use their, they know how to nurture you. They're interested in pouring into you just as much as you're pouring into them. They're not using sex. They're not weaponizing sex. So when you all, you know, are not on the best of terms, they're not withholding anything from you. You're not trying to withhold, you're not playing those little silly games, right? You all feel like you're at peace with each other, right? And that's why I talk about not going backward to any relationships because it actually do exist to be in spaces like right before you meet your person, something from your past wants to resurface. Now, all of a sudden, people want to talk. Well, at first, their vocal cords didn't work. Now, they want to talk about how they, they, you know, they had to put their pride to the side. But it's disingenuous, just so we're clear. Just so we're clear. You're moving forward. You're not going backwards. So, yeah. So, yeah, moving right towards your um, perfect job for you or perfect love situation for you, right? So, that's like you headed out the door with a job, but, you know, like I said, it was imbalanced. This is about balance. This is about balance. This is about balance. And this is about balance, right? So, sources saying, instead of being around energies who are 
who show their weakness on the outside. They ought to always be in survival mode. You don't know when they're going to leap like a wild cat. This is where a person knows how their inner strength, right? That meekness, right? So Source is saying, that's why I don't want you all to get caught up in, I don't get along with this sign. I don't get along with that sign. You're taking everything case by case basis, right? So Source is saying, if you slow down and take your time to process your thoughts, you'll be able to see things. People will tell you things. You'll notice things. That's like, okay, this reminds me of a wilderness situation. So now, God, you're praying ahead of time before you go into that job, before you go into that romantic situation. Show me how low they can go. Show me how low they can go. We're not talking about dancing either, y'all. But no, seriously, how low can they go? You know, just on the frequency, do they have it in them to take everything I got after I worked so hard? For? Do they even have it in them? Show me, source. Do they have it in them to, to tear up my stuff if they don't get their way? Do they have it in them to try to use, if we have kids together, to try to take my kids away from me? You know what I'm saying? Like I'm talking to men and women. You can pray ahead of time. God, show me and take your time. Slow down. There's no rush. Take your time. You know, and whatever other questions you have. If I go into business with them, if not even a family situation, it could be a family situation. Hey, does my colleague have it in them to betray me in the workplace? And can I open up to some people at work if I'm going through some things? You know, is my manager going to run interference for me if I have a death in the family? Or are they going to treat me like, oh, I still need I'm you like you see biscuit? You know what I'm saying? So that's what you got to, you got to, somebody's learning how to pray and attract the things that you want immediately at that frequency. Yeah. It's some energies right now that's going through a tower moment. They're going through it because things are not going well for them. They came at you at every angle and it didn't work. Six of wands. Here you are back in the saddle again, booked and busy, not burdened at all. They don't have access to knowing every little thing that you're doing after they try to burn you out and stress you out, Capricorn. So, yeah, life is getting sweeter for you because you learn how to pray. Pray before you go in out into the world, before you get involved in anything. You learn how to pray and meditate. That's the key words. Those two words, pray and meditate. So while you're doing things that nurture your spirit, source is going to give you the answer. See how that works? It sounds very simple, right? So while you're doing things and staying in the posture of gratitude, Source is saying, I'm going to make sure you booked and busy because I know you like to work, Capricorn, but make sure you got your music playing in the background. See this music note right here? Make sure you got your vibration, your high vibrational music playing in the background so that the, so it things will flow to you the way that you want it to flow to you. So this is all good. You're divinely protected in your vulnerability. There's some energies that want back into your life. It's a no ma'am and it's a no sir. So here we have page of wands. Source is cooking up something even nicer for you. So stay focused, focus, focus. You don't have to even overthink this. Here we also just pray for strength. God, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, God. That your anxiety is going to go away very soon. So those are the steps. You're praying for something, but you got to believe that your prayers are being answered. You're praying for strength, that you don't go backwards into a situation where energies are trying to bait you into something and carry their, you know, their insecurities on your scales, their toxicity. Oh, I had a, I, th I have this feeling that we're actually twin flame. I, now everybody reading books and about the difference between twin flame and karmics. I felt like this. I felt like, I felt like I was being judged. Feelings are okay. They write songs about feelings, but sources are saying to you, you feel much better without them. It's not your obligation to carry their insecurity. So Source is saying to you, this can be booked and busy or booked, busy, burning, and bitter. Which one you choose, right? Booked and busy, right? So yeah, while you're praying, trust that Source is answering your prayers. But you also got to operate in faith and not fear. So you operating in faith is saying, I'm going to keep myself busy. I'm drinking my water. I'm minding my business. You know, I am listening to my high vibrational music, you know, while things are flowing to me like water. The things that I prayed for are flowing to me like water. Hopefully you all are writing those things down. You want things to flow to you like water, right? But you also want to have that filter for things that's trying to come back into your life. 
to stop it. Block numbers. There's nothing to talk about. So, and some people will be crafty. They will try to go around other people to try to get through to you, to talk to you. Click. There's nothing to talk about. Get as far away from them as fast as you can because your prayers are being answered. And that's what slows up people's prayers is because they, they freeze up. They get this anxiety. Why, why does this person want to talk to me? What are they saying? Just pray, God. God, give me an exodus strategy out of it. Keep them so busy they don't even think about calling me. Pray about it. And if they happen to slip through the cracks, so it's the same. I wish you well, but I've already moved on. If they happen to slip through the cracks. Yeah, there's some energies right now. There's a lot of fighting going on. A lot of conversations. People jump to conclusions about you, and now people want back into your life, right? And so... Um, Hmm. The moon moving into Taurus is going to remind everybody, first of all, the um, a moon in Taurus uh, focuses on the physical plane, the matter, the ability to feel sensations and pleasures throughout our bodies and see beauty in exquisite objects and environments around us. So loving sex, pleasure, money, doesn't make us dirty, greedy human beings. This is a time to change um, these beliefs and past conditionings, right? So the truth of the matter is, Capricorn, is that the power awakens only when we welcome and inhibit all the parts of our bodies, understanding our body's magnificent power and beauty, and allow pleasure to be our guide, right? So there's nothing wrong with, you know, you increasing your prayer life at all. You're talking to source within you. There's nothing, you're, like I said, your vulnerability is your strength. When you say, okay, God, give me some strength not to go backwards. Give me some strength not to stay on this job that I prayed to get out of. Give me some strength not to stay, go back to that ex that tried to burn me and set me up. Give me the strength. It's in that in-between waiting time that source is testing you, and that vulnerability that source is testing you to see, are you going to go back into a situation that was that you prayed to get out of, right? Or are you going to wait on source and trust that source is going to give you exactly everything you prayed for? So now that you've come, now we're starting off with the King of Wands. I'm telling you, somebody is have a, has a remarkable life waiting for them. I'm serious. If you can just hold out because there's some energies that are really at war and within themselves, they really want back in the fold. They want to now, now they see the error of their ways. I want to be there to help support. I want to be a part of the support team. When before they were lighting you up, you know, so here we have the two of wands. So it's just saying, mm -mm, increase your, your meditation life. See that this person is moving forward. It's two types of energy. So it's just saying, increase your meditation life. Increase your meditation life. Right here we have the three of wands here. Yeah, so um, yeah, it's two types of energies in particular that want to reach out to you. Two and three is five. So it's just saying, see your back right here. You're not looking back at all. You're not looking back at all. Um, booked and busy in your personal life. Booked and busy in your professional life. And you have a lot of great ideas that source is saying, I'm going to make sure those ideas come to fruition, right? So again, this is nice, 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 nice. See, it's always good to be around people who pray for you and not people who pray on you, right? Pray for your strength. Send out good energy, you know, on your behalf. It looks like somebody comes from some prayer warriors. Maybe you have a very religious family, you know, somebody, you know, who may be praying for you. So be grateful for your ancestors that's been praying for you. Don't worry about how religious they are and how they may have judged you in the past about, you know, you going to hell and gasoline panties on, you know, in a hand basket. Don't worry about all of that. Some people have been praying for you. They have really been praying for you because they want you to be happy. They really, really want you to be happy. You have a lot of inspiration and, um, you know, to see, I'm trying to tell somebody this right here. Here we go. The King of Cups. Source is saying, keep pouring into yourself. You're on your throne. People didn't, you you had an opportunity, like I said, to get rooted and grounded again and start, you know, hopefully somebody is doing core strengthening exercises. Maybe you're doing um, yoga or Pilates, but do continue doing your core strengthening exercises while you're waiting on Source to um, 
while you're waiting for a source to, to um, bless you, um, bless you with these, what you prayed for. King of Pentacles, wealthiest card in the deck. Knight of Pentacles, sources say get to work, get to work. Three of Pentacles, everything is lining up perfectly for you. Yeah, but whatever trap somebody was setting for you, um, it's over. It's over. Yeah, it, it's over. Something is absolutely over. And, um... And so for you, you're just moving forward. Here we also have the five of wands again. Yeah, so um, you're definitely at a pivotal point in your life where some things are happening for you. There's a lot of arguing around going on about, about you behind your back, right? There's a lot of fighting and arguing going on about you behind your back because some people assume some things about you, Capricorn, and that just weren't true. And your wishes are being fulfilled. Your prayers are being answered. And um, I don't know why people assume, I don't know why people assume the worst about you. I feel like you kept, I feel like somebody, some people thought that you had very low self-esteem. I feel like somebody may have, like somebody just really jumped to the wrong conclusions about you all, Capricorn. They jumped to the conclu wrong conclusions about your family, you, you know, and just was preying on you big time. But sources saying you've gotten on your throne of your emotions. You've learned how to pour into yourself. You inspire and motivate yourself. You're staying away from, you know, like I said, wilderness situations. And um, yeah, King of Pentacles. Here we have the Six of Wands. Yep. So this is this is really, really good. You're victorious when it comes to two types of situations all together. Here we have the Two of Swords. So you want to take the blindfolds off because the blindfolds lets me know that somebody had to start shutting down because you were so burned out, so stressed out, so tired of being burned, right? And I do read you guys' comments, so thank you for the comments below. Please don't, don't give up on yourselves, like for real. Pray through it. In the meantime, do things that nurture yourself. Music seems to be like something that people love to do, like put on your favorite songs, dance around the house, you know, like get in your car, sing to the top of your lungs. You know, some of y'all are shower singers. Do things that pour back into you. This is a whole new you. You would rather wait until your prayers are answered, those very intentional and detailed prayers, than just, you know, lowering your standards and just going to get anything, just going into a wilderness situation and not prepared, you know? So sources saying you've been successful, you know, with a lot of things. So, like I said, I see you being successful at staying away. Somebody in your family who used to drive a, who used to ride a motorcycle is really saying, you know, stay away from predatory energies. That person could have been connected to music in some way, shape, form, or fashion, but they used to ride a motorcycle. Something having to do with entertainment industry. Somebody is saying to you, Wherever, whatever it is you're creating, whether you're creating music, a book, a screenplay, something that you're creating, they're telling you to stay away from treacherous types of, you know, those wilderness types of people who are in survival mode, in other words. So here we have the two of pentacles. Yeah, so um, don't spend a whole lot of time on it. Like source is saying to you, because energies will do anything when they feel like money is involved or they just backstabbing, burning people and this kind of stuff. And that's just like I said, that's just not your thing. You don't want to be connected to that. And also, it seems like also somebody, um, it could, something could be something having to do with a religious organization as well, where people are just been burning people left and right, um, jumping to conclusions, burning people's reputation, didn't get a chance to really get to know you, to know that peace is paramount for you, all of these things. So... Yeah, somebody's praying for you. Here we have the Empress card. Yep. So somebody's mother was praying for them or grandmother, you know, some kind of maternal energies were praying for you, you know. And so they were praying you would cut energies all like cut that, you know, get away from certain types of energies. You know, like I feel like, you know, sometimes even when certain families don't, family members don't like each other and they don't mess with each other like that, they'll still, you're the common person that they're praying for. So source is saying it doesn't matter, but you had a lot of energies even on the other side. You know, like I say, I'm picking up real strong that somebody had a loved one that rode a motorcycle that's saying get away from that because they can see some stuff on the other side that you were getting burned out and stressed out and all of this other stuff. And so you're victoriously doing that. So you're turning the corner. You're turning the page. So, yeah. 
So here we have the five of cups right here. Yep, you definitely were lamenting, you know, over some things. And now some other people are lamenting over you. Like I said, keep moving forward. Stay away from them. Here we have the wheel of fortune. So you feel very fortunate to have some prayer words. You have a, like a, what I'm saying in a spirit uh, sense is that you are like a, a person that's sitting in the middle of a prayer circle in a spiritual sense, right? Your ancestors are praying for you. People that's on, you know, this side praying for you. So be grateful that I'm telling you, even if you got a very religious family, you know, that's acting like Carrie's mother on the movie. They're going to laugh at you like all of this. Even if you got, even if you got, you know, prayer words in your family, you know, sometimes that can come across as like, you know, I, let me, I got, I know the right prayers to pray and all this other stuff. So you, you had some praying, you had some praying hands on you. Trust and believe because your life is about to turn out to be just what you prayed for. So it's like somebody was in a, went out into the wilderness and you know you may have felt like you may have felt defeated at some point um capricorn but some people have been praying for you some people have been their prayers are being answered so don't give up on yourself because you're gonna be glad in the end you're getting everything that you want you get the the happy family unit situation your money looking right more zeros in your account than you've ever had before you're not looking for people's approval you know what I'm saying? The source is like, don't give it a whole lot of time. Don't give it a whole lot of time. You know, people assume whatever they want us all about. And some people assume everything about whatever. Who don't really, it don't really matter. Here we have, um, that's the cards I was looking for. All right. Yeah. Let's see what else we got going on here. Let's see what else we have going on here. Let's see what else. We, let me give you the questions for the moon and, um, and Taurus, right? Because things are coming together for you. Just increase your prayer life. That's what, that's what sources mentioned. This is not religion because you're talking to source inside of you and you're in a very, um, you know, but your people were praying and something didn't happen to you because people were definitely setting traps. People were definitely setting traps and a lot of people are arguing and this kind of thing and so on and so forth. And so, um, yeah, the first question for the moon and Taurus, for those of you all who like the questions is how often do you feel true pleasure? Second question is, do you feel guilty about pursuing pleasure? Third question is where are the energy blockages and places of tension located in your body? The fourth question is, can you discern how your body says yes to some things and no to others? And then last but not least is, what does your body need? What does your body need? Like I said, there's nothing wrong with money. There's nothing wrong with sex. There's nothing wrong with wanting nice things. You know, so you, during this time, when you want things to flow to you, you want to make sure you're not staying in any sp place to a point of burnout where you're evaporating your own creativity and kind of giving up on yourself. Where your water is low, you said low self-esteem, feelings of low self-worth, burned out, you know, staying connected to narcissistic energies and you don't even know that they're narcissists. So it's just saying what's going to help you is a healthy balance of, you know, listening to those water sounds at night. Believe it or not, it helps. It helps. Hopefully those questions help you too. There it is, King of Pentacles again, right? So somebody, you and somebody very, very wealthy. You and somebody very, very wealthy. You could come from a family, like I said, of energies who, when I say wealthy, it's not just zeros in their account. I'm going to say this again, like I said before, and somebody put a really negative comment <laughs> to the video, which obviously y'all know I don't care, right? Thank you for the view, right? But source is saying that you have loved ones that are teaching you just not to be, you know, like floss, like, you know, be a show off when it comes to the energy of money. They're trying to keep, you know, because again, money in the hands of fools will soon depart, right? And so if you're around energies in a wilderness situation and people know that you have access to resources, they don't know who you know. They don't know... If you got zeros in your account or you have a, a bunch of attorneys in your family that can help you, you know, with things, they don't know if you got doctors or they don't know who you have. They don't know if you have law enforcement in your family that's right there with you wherever you go and people don't know. They don't know any of those things. All of that is wealth, right? We're not talking about just bank account zeros. So it's the same. When you're talking about you want things to flow through and you have a wealth of prayer warriors around you as well. So sources saying it's not just it. 
it's it's all of the elements. It can't just be money. It's not just the energy of money. I mean, it's energy of money, but you have a wealth of prayer around you. People who are, you know, you know, like I said, having dreams, downloads, all of those things. And so they're teaching you how to, you know, be in spaces where there's cobras, snipers, venomous snakes, right? So that King of Pentacles came out twice came out twice right so yes yeah, and people lamenting over you now here we also had the thought the four of pentacles but again that was not your goal is to cause anybody to lament over you at all so again here we have um four and three is five like i said you worked hard to be financially independent to get away from those types of energy some people think that they really believe that money is attached to evil doing right remember there is a um there is a major shift that's going on right now, Capricorn. And so when you're praying for something, you're praying for a healthy relationship with the energy of money, that it flows to you in every area of your lives. You can listen to um, uh, circulation of wealth videos and the frequency of money. There's tons of them on YouTube. Don't just look, listen to it one night and say, okay, I didn't see a check coming in the mail. It's a part, it's a lifestyle. You want to discipline yourself to start being on that frequency and also a, a frequency of peace. You don't want to have a bunch of money and can't trust anybody around you because you don't know how to move. So that's what loved ones are trying to teach you, right? So, you know, be in those spaces where you're having the conversations and people don't mind telling you what stocks to invest in. Be in those spaces where people are telling you, hey, listen, you can pull out, you need to pull out this, pull out your money and invest it here. And that's kind of stuff like you need to be in those spaces, you know. And so that's what Source is trying to tell you is things are happening for you so that you can live a very peaceful life. But you had to first move on from the depth of disappointment, things that were driving you crazy to self-sabotage where it came across as arrogant. It came across as it came across as like, OK, oh, this person has this. They have that. They have access to X, Y and Z. So let's pull them into an environment and take stone cold advantage of people. Uh -uh, that's not going to happen anymore because, again, the prayers brought you back into a space where you got rooted and grounded and, and recharged again. So, yeah. So let's see what else we got going on. Let's see what else we have going on. Let's see what else we have going on here. So before you talk, start talking, calling your loved ones crazy because they stay in prayers and they, you know, and that kind of stuff. Knowing that some of them are praying for you. A lot of them looks like it in the card. A lot of people are praying for you. So, yeah, operating in faith. Miraculously, amazingly, everything I need always comes. Love is opening me to receive beyond anything I imagine. That's right. Get ready to receive. I know you all hear that a lot, but I keep telling people, before you your prayers are about to be answered, there's always a test. That phone rings, the text message, you have dreams about people. You just got a feeling energies want to come back into your life because people misjudged you. They mishandled you and they misjudged you. Do not go back to anything you prayed to get out of. You don't have to be that strong person. You, you be strong in prayer and be strong in faith. So it show me everything I need to see so I don't get caught up in a wilderness situation again. So, yep, there's some energies right now. They know that the relationship is over. There's no and ifs or buts about it. They already know. They know there's no chance. They don't have a snowball's chance in hell coming back into your life anymore. They don't. So, increase your prayer life. Your, your vulnerability is your strength. Please don't leave that message out. You're vulnerable. It's okay to feel like, okay, I feel burned out. I feel stressed out. I feel like I'm at the end of the rope. So it's just saying, okay, let go and operate in faith, not fear. You don't need to be blowtorched to be in inspired. Galactic roots. Yep. Galactic roots. Yep. So protect your energy. Please protect your energy because you deserve it. I'm telling you, Capricorns, y'all know I'm rooting for y'all for real. Like, if you've been tuned into my channel, anybody that puts negative comments under my videos, they got to be a cross watcher or a straight-up hater because <laughs> y'all know I speak very highly of you all. And um, 
Um, and some people feel some kind of way, you know? Some somebody feels somebody feels some kind of way, right? And um, so yeah, there's that like I said, somebody got that that Milky Way, that you know, that that bright band of stars you know, uh, you know, that come around the sky, like you, you shine from the inside out and people know that, right? People know that you shine from the inside out. And here we have the number 38 here, 38, three and eight is 11, right? So 11 is a master number. So source is saying, get off the fence, stop overthinking things to a point of burnout, causing yourself to sweat at night and stress out and get into your prayer life and say, okay, source, I already know that the things that I prayed for, you know, people who are going to have compassion towards me, just like I have compassion towards them. Those are the people that you're going to, you know, be around in your personal and your professional life. You know, people who are not looking at me to see if they can, you know, uh, stress me out and take up all my time in the day, burn all my time. So I don't even have a chance to even plant seeds and water my own seeds with just faith. Right. So, yeah. All right. Let's see what else we got going on here. Let's get some um, other cards, and we're going to go ahead and close it out. Let's get some other cards, and let's go ahead and close it out. Other cards and close it out. Mm. Much better lies ahead, and that's the double truth. So love up on yourselves more. Your new home awaits. Somebody apologizes for hurting you, and so it's time for you to schedule a vacation. That's right, time to schedule a vacation. You have the gift of deja vu, and that's remembering the future, right? So getting into a new situation that you pray for, you should remember what it felt like coming out of wilderness situations in your personal and your professional life. You don't have to fit in. You don't have to make people believe that you something that you not. None of those things. Source is saying as a divine feminine sign, as an earth sign, source wants you to enjoy the pleasures of the earth. And so because you can pray for things, also make sure in your prayers that source gives you an exodus strategy out of predatory situations where people are trying to prey on you know, prey on your perceived weaknesses. They hoping that you, you are burned out. You're an earth sign. So imagine having a drought and people coming across your path and they say, oh, I can give you this if you do that. So yeah, so remember, this is the gift of deja vu. It's time to schedule a vacation. Some energies, like I said, apologize for hurting you. And, um, but hey, you about to get on a flight somewhere. All I can tell you is some of y'all keep, like I said, somebody's going to be near some water. Somebody's going to be near some water. So congratulations. Somebody has not been completely honest with you, but they haven't been completely honest with themselves. So you don't even have to worry about that. It, it don't even really matter. Just leave it in the dust because what you headed towards is going to be amazing. Yeah, the Archangel Gabriel, the messenger of God is with you. Um, so it's time to heal your wounded warrior or your wounded healer. So please pull your birth chart, find out what your Chiron is. I know I have Chiron, C-H-I-R-O-N. I know that I have a link for uh, birth charts below. You may not find your Chiron in that birth chart. So go to Google and just say how to find my Chiron, C-H-I-R-O-N. And then WikiHow has... Like, they literally have pictures and information about how, you know, to heal your Chiron, right? So when you first go to Google and say how to find my Chiron, you may have some links to some other birth charts you can pull up. Find out what your Chiron is and then go to WikiHow. That's just one resource, okay? I'm just trying to give you all some resources. But it's time for you to expand your brand and do the mirror work. Look in that mirror and tell yourself how amazing you are. And not, your next love interest will make you happier for some of some for somebody. Here's a cool thing too that you all may want to write down too. So when Mercury is retrograde, I know you hear a lot of negative stuff about Mercury, and I do have information about all the planets retrograde on my second channel. That link is in the description. It's called the Knowledge Channel. But remember this about Mercury. So Mercury is the communication and messenger planet, right? But it's also the planet of knowledge and learning. It's the planet of trade, travel, commerce. It's the channel. Of, I mean, it's, it's the planet of um, sibling relationships and all of that, right? 
when mercury goes retrograde discipline yourself to remind yourself take a moment of how far you've come this is an upside of some things stop looking at the darkness of everything oh my god mercury's retrograde i can't hop around in a circle i can't breathe i gotta inhale through my nose and i can't ex exhale through my mouth like come on now sources saying to you when mercury goes retrograde start remembering how far you've come how much how how many of your prayers have been answered speaking of all of this fire here and how many of your prayers have been answered start focusing on those things and how you've risen out of situations that were designed to keep you at, to just extinguish your flame believing in yourself write that list out that's going to also help somebody to go wow I have had a lot of play. Like, I can't believe my life. I made it through this situation, this situation, this situation, and that situation. Because otherwise, sitting there waiting and like, okay, and not having a plan in place. And you all are a very structured sign. But not having a plan in place can burn you out and stress you out and feel like, okay, why can't I get this right? And I'm giving you literally step-by-step -step instructions. Increase your prayer life, but don't forget to meditate. But while you're waiting, listen to music, your favorite music, right? Don't sit there looking at the clock, but I got something coming up on such and such a date. Source doesn't work on your time. Just know that you're divinely protected. There's some energies right now that know that you are done with them for, for life. They already got the message loud and clear. Mercury is retrograde. You know, um, if it's an Aries during Aries season, you didn't call them. You didn't, you know, it could have been a man, woman, don't matter. You didn't, it could have been a business, uh, form of business relationship. You ain't reach out to them. They know, they know the situation is over. So, but there were some other energies, like I said, that jumped to conclusions. They also are trying to figure out how can I reach back out to Capricorn? You know, let me see if I can make up something to reach out to Capricorn and see if Capricorn is mad. They shouldn't flatter themselves. You are not angry at all. You're keeping yourselves busy and you got a lot of prayer warriors around you. So that's what I have for you all. Um, like I said, I want you all to be sitting on that rainbow with your person where you feel like it's a secure relationship. I want to see you all double wealth here you know where you you blown out by just like standing on your balcony and you looking over acres and acres and acres of land because that's what you prayed for source is saying that's what source is trying to bring you into so you know you don't have time to sit around and you worked hard for this here we have four two yeah so this is um yeah yeah, source is bringing you into financial independence so you don't have to go back into wilderness situations at all and if you feel like the situation is about to become a wilderness situation, guess what? Deja vu. You're going to remember the future. I, remember, I already know how this turns out. That's deja vu. I already know how this turns out. I've already been here. So I don't need to be blowtorched before I'm waiting for something to happen because I've already been here. Before I already know this, I know this friendship, this job, romantic relationship, business deal is not going to work out. Or I do know it is going to work out. So here we have 777 because you're in the flow. So your purpose flows from within you and everything that is unfolding or being revealed to you is part of your purpose, a state of peace and calmness in your soul. I told y'all, y'all, your ancestors are on the case. They're not playing games about you because it was always predestined for you to be very wealthy. It was already predestined for you to be very wealthy. So, um... Yeah, it's some energies right now. Like I said before, they, they can't believe it. They cannot believe, you know, you got a lot of like a lot of blessings coming. So you pray for clarity, right? I am clear on my purpose. I am here for a reason. I am worthy. I am valuable. I own my truth. I am moving forward in the right direction. I know exactly what I need to do. I take action towards the things that matter. That's right. I take action towards the things that matter. That is what I have for you all. I am rooting for you all, Capricorn. Y'all know, you know, if you've been tuned into my channel, you know I'm rooting for you all, Capricorn, and I want you all to win. I really genuinely do sincerely want you all to win. So that's what I have for you. I will see you all in the next reading. Hopefully those questions have been helpful for you. But yeah, somebody has a loved one who rode a motorcycle on the other side. They're saying, get away from that wilderness situation. You don't even have to be in it because all you need to do is increase your prayer life and watch how things come to you, right? That's what I have for you. I'll see you all in the next reading. Bye.